dispute is. I mean, really, really never, almost never any good reason in those low muta battles to, to not be microing your mutas. I mean, what the hell else are you going to do, right? There's like nothing else for you to do anyway. So, you know, you just, you just gotta micro it, you gotta micro it. Hey, it looks like uh, Zergman is actually watching the replay. We can see the first person view on these, uh, on these monitors here. So, uh, he's gonna have a look, see what went wrong there. And then we're gonna go on to game two whenever he is ready. And it looks like both players are now in the game. We're going on electric circuit. Four player map this time, so you won't get the straight uh, off scouting like they did in the last game. And here we go. It looks like a modesty will be the yellow Zerg in the bottom right position, which means Zergman will be top left as the red Zerg. Man, this is so cool. Look at look at this. This is like this is like exactly how they used to do it at you know the OGN studio. You know, we go into the game, they do the face shots of the players as well as their positions. Oh, this is so cool. It's just like old times. Just like old times. Anyway, uh, it'll be interesting to see the opening build. So obviously last game we had the nine pool, the dreaded nine pool versus twelve patch uh, opening. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, if Modesty would be willing to willing to risk the nine hat. Uh, sorry, not the nine hat. The nine pool on a four player map. What? Get out of the camera! Get out of the camera! What are you doing? Not building an overload yet. He is not building an overlord yet. Oh no, he's not pulling again! Wait, no, this is Zergman. Whoa, I'm sorry. This is actually Zergman not pulling. <laughs> uh, okay, so this time Zergman's gonna not pull, and Modesty is going to do something. He's gonna 12 something. Oh god, are we gonna have the reverse situation? Wow, that'd be really funny. Alright, we're now. I. Oh no, 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 12 pull? No, it's a 12 hatch! It is definitely a 12 hatch. So now Zergman is going 9 pool. Modesty is going 12 hatch. However, this is a 4 player map. Uh, now, the thing is, I think the usual path for the Zerglings is like one, go, one will go top right and the other five will go cross map. I'm pretty sure. So the majority of the Zerglings, I think, will go in the correct direction. But it is still going to be cross spawns on a four player map, which means the uh, rush distance is fairly long. Uh, although it was fairly long on Mist as well, I would imagine. Uh, and we'll have to see how good uh, how good Modesty's crisis management here is. The one problem for Modesty is his Overlord is not going to see these Zerglings coming cross map uh, very quickly. So I think the first warning he'll have is that the uh, Zerglings will be in his natural. Whereas in the last game, Zergman saw the Zerglings with his first Overlord just as they came out of Modesty's main. So he had a lot of time to think about his defense and get the, uh, get the creep colony. So here we go. So he's moving out. Where are they going to go? Looks like they are heading cross map ish. Yep, definitely heading cross map. All right, here we go. I think also uh, because he scouted bottom left and he didn't see an overlord come from the top right, uh, so he was just going to assume that actually that his opponent is 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 bottom right. Because the usual, I think with the usual overlord scouting pattern, if Modesty had been top right, the overlord would have reached uh, would have reached Man's natural by now. And oh, look at this! See the hatchery is not going to be cancelled because, you know, there was absolutely no warning for this for Modesty, so that's immediately a loss for him, and you can see the Zerg is going straight forward. He's just pulling all of his drones here. Oh my god! Basically every single drone. I think there's only like one or two drones left mining. One drone falls, two drones fall. It looks like Zerglings are going to come out here. Is this massive drone pool going to be enough to save the hatchery, though? It's costing him so many minerals, and he might just lose the hatchery anyway. He really desperately wants to save the hatchery. Here he goes with the drones. Really good micro so far by Zergman, pulling back, not uh, taking the uh, a full engagement with all the drones. Although, oh man, getting a little bit caught here, losing a few Zerglings, but he's killed four drones so far. He's still got Zerglings coming in. He's got Zergling speed against no speed. It looks like he's going to do the runaround. Oh man, he's going to go after the drones. He gets one more drone in the natural, and is now sneaking through into the main base here. 
as more Zerglings do come into the natural expansion as well. Oh man, he might just go and try and kill all of the drones. There's another drone falling here. Modesty in some serious trouble right now. It looks like he might have just six drones left in total. However, he has cleaned up most of the Zerglings here. I don't know if he's going to be able to get speed though. I don't think he's been able to mine gas at all. So I don't think he's going to have speed. In the meantime, the Spire is already on the way for Zergman. Zergman now in fantastic position in this game. And here we go, the three speedlings still in the main base. Gonna try and do a little bit more damage here. Oh man, looks like one of them gets caught. Two speedlings remain. They're gonna go after another drone. Nope, not quite gonna get it. But, uh, oh no, oh, nope, doesn't look like that Zergling. Anyway, there's a counterattack of Zerglings, but there should be a sub colony already. The only problem is this Spire is quite exposed. So, you know, if Modesty just goes balls out and sends a billion Zerglings, he can just actually take down the, force down the Spire, even though it's in range of the Sunken. There's another reason I don't like this positioning. Uh, I don't know why he didn't build a Spire to the, t uh, to the left of the Extractor. That would have been really well protected. Oh man, he's going after some drones here. Gets one drone, actually. That's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice catch here. But Modesty is going to need some, uh, uh, some spore colonies now uh, to, to keep himself alive. And well, the overload comes in, sees nothing building in the natural just yet. You see, he's making drones. Um, I think if the evolution chamber goes up just as the spire finishes, then your spores will be up in time. I think that's roughly the timing here. So if he starts the Evo now, he should be okay. I think I'd imagine that's the Evo right there as well. So that's that's the timing you can see. It builds quite quickly, and the mutas take a while to build. They take a while to get over. So uh, these spores are are going to be just fine. Uh, anyway, it looks like some Zerglings is trying to run in here again, and you see, uh, is that still no speed? No, it looks like speed, is speed done for, uh, for Modesty? I'm not sure, I think it is, I think he has speed as well now, so, uh, he should be a little bit better. Oh man, they're gonna go after the Spore, no, there are a couple of Zerglings there, that would have been quite crucial actually, that's a pretty cool trick, uh, when, in these kinds of situations, if you're the player going muted, if you can just sneak in a couple of Zerglings, use your mutas to cover them, and use the Zerglings to actually kill the Spore, and then use the mutas to protect the Zerglings against other Zerglings, that's actually uh, pretty devastating. It looks like meanwhile a lot of Zerglings go for a counterattack. The Muta's going straight over though, they're ignoring the Zerglings here. That's a lot of Zerglings though. One Sunken is not going to hold all those Zerglings, and I don't think those Mutas are going to get here in time before the Spore finishes. So they're maybe going to get one or two drone kills, it's not going to be that many. Yeah, see, one drone kill and then the Spore finishes, although it doesn't look like it quite covers the bottommost mineral patch, but here we go. A lot of Zerglings moving in. Are they going to force down the Spire? No! Yes! They're going to force down the Spire, and see, this is the problem. They can easily kill the Spire. I mean, this is just such a horrible Spire positioning. See, why was that Spire not to the left of the Extractor? Imagine if he had built it to the left of the Extractor, touching this between the Sunken and the Extractor. I mean, there would have been basically no surface area for the, his opponent's Zerglings. I mean, that's, that, is just, that is just awful positioning. Absolutely awful. However, fortunately for him, uh, Modesty has sort of screwed up on his Spore positioning, so the Mutas are actually able to camp both Mineral Lines, which is pretty, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Actually, I mean, look at this! They're actually just hold positioning behind the minerals! The drones cannot mine minerals without dying. Oh my god. Wait! Why did he leave the natural? Okay, there's, there's now a spore gonna finish in the natural minerals, so that's gonna be good. But, uh... But... <laughs> that is just really funny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, how many mutas does he have? If he has five mutas, he can actually kill a spore colony. Um, oh, he's gonna do the run in! He's only gonna get a couple in though. And yeah, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, five mutas plus two uh, zerglings, absolutely enough to take down a spore. Oh man, he's, so he's gonna force down the main here. He is gonna brute force down the main. Actually, I think technically only need four mutas, but obviously more is better. Um, so there we go, three mutas remain and the spore finishes. He's building an emergency creep, but that's not gonna finish. So now the main base is completely exposed here. The lair and the uh, and the spawning pool are both gonna fall eventually, although three mutas will take a very long time to kill those. They do not have very much DPS at all. And it looks like the spire is gonna build before uh, you know before those buildings actually go down. So, very intense game so far here. Still no Spire rebuilt yet for Zergman, just simply cannot afford it. You can see he's not even mining gas. Meanwhile, a big Zergman counterattack going in here. He's got some Zerglings of his own. He's got the Sunken Colony. He should be okay here. Just gonna be careful not to really lose any drones. Nice little drone drill right there. Uh, so I think he's gonna be just fine. Looks like, uh, um, honestly, trying to get some drones here. He does grab one drone kill, but at the cost of all those Zerglings, not sure if that was all worth it. 
So now I actually am not sure what the situation is here, but the problem is that Zergman, despite having three mutas still alive, has no spire. So when that spire of of Modesty's finishes, you know, if he just builds a million Scourge and and Zergman, you know, with only three mutas can't really micro against them, that that could just be game over, right? I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do. And you can see he's building extra spores here because he's scared of the big counterattack. I think he should build a Sunken though because with no Spire, I feel like Zergman's main opportunity now is to just suddenly build a whole bunch of Zerglings and just go for a gigantic attack with Zerglings. I don't think the Mutas are the threat. Like why do you need three spores against three Mutas and no Spire? Like does he not- because he even had Zerglings in there a second ago so he knows the Spire hasn't rebuilt. I really feel that third spore should have been a Sunken. Because that's the only possible way for him to lose. I think Modesty is actually fine right now, even though he just like you know lost his main. He didn't even lose his main. See, the lair is not even worth killing because the spire is already built, and the lair just has like a trillion HP and armor as well. I actually don't know how much armor it is. I, it must have one or two armor. Um, anyway, so Modesty can just chill because he's got a spire, and, <laughs> and Zergman doesn't. Uh, and you know, he's just gonna gonna win the game. I mean, this, see, the Spire's only just now being rebuilt for Modesty, and I don't think Zergman's Muta Micro is good enough that he can just micro down everything with just three Mutas, right? I'm pretty sure he's not that good. Because that's that's hard enough, even if you're really good with Muta Control, and, and Zergman hasn't shown that he has the best Muta Control, so... Uh, so Zergman now also going to lose an Overlord, which is not good considering I think he was also, uh, he was already slightly hurting for Minerals. Um, although it looks like, you know, his Spire might get back up in time to, to be okay. No, he's actually going to Spore up as well. Oh man, this is such a bizarre situation right now. But the problem is that because the main lair is alive, now, you know, once Modesty gets enough Mutas to actually feel secure, he can actually go back and start mining gas from his main again and be on two gas. I think that is probably the main difference right now. Um, I don't think the Spire timing is actually going to end up being as big a deal as I thought, uh, because, because Zergman did build his uh, in the end anyway. So that it's basically gonna make up the difference in these three mutas. Um, looks like Zergman coming in here gonna try and- Whoa! Hello! Oh man, he might get caught now. That'd be really bad. Oh god, he's gonna get caught. That's gonna be GG. GG, yo. <laughs> Zergman, I don't know what you did. I do not know what you did here. Because you had you went 9 pull versus 12 hatch. The 12 and 12 hatch guy like didn't even cancel his natural. And you still lost. I don't I don't think you can really ask for a better situation than the opening of this game. This was much better than what Modesty had. Modesty went 9 pull versus 12 hatch, but his 9 pull got scouted way early. I don't know why he's spreading out his mutas also. Like, is he just looking for hidden bases? I think he just assumes that the spores will be up in Zergman's base, so there's no point attacking it, so he's just gonna look for hidden expos. Which is uh, pretty good thinking, actually. That's, that's, that's pretty smart. And, I mean, he's right. There is the one spore in the main base. I don't think he has enough to actually force it down yet. Well, actually, I think he might barely, but he's not sure. <coughs> So Zergman is basically dead now. It's just a matter of when Modesty actually has enough to finish him. We can see he's Modesty is back to mining his main base again, so he's back on two base mining. Uh, although I don't, it doesn't look like he's mining his main gas yet, just the minerals. And oh man, he's got more mutas as well. He's just gonna do a bit of the micro out of range of that spore. Grabs those three gas drones. Very very nice. And this is just a matter of time. So it's looking like uh, we're gonna have in the winners match a TVZ between Sock and Modesty. Should be pretty exciting. And then uh, and then Zergman will face Shinny in the losers match, which should also be interesting. TVZ. It's a pretty awesome matchup. See, I'm Protoss, and I still think TBZ is possibly the best matchup. Anyway, at least to watch. Anyway, looks like uh, we're gonna have a big attack here from uh, from Shiny. Sorry, not from Shiny. From uh, from Zergman. Whoops. <laughs> Shiny's not even Zerg. Uh, anyway, and here we go. He's got a lot of Scourge here. Modesty appears to have more Mutalists, but he's taking a decent number of the Scourge hits actually. But it looks like, despite taking a good number of Scourge hits, he comes out ahead and GG from Zergman. Modesty takes. The, uh, the second series of the group, 2-0 as well. 
And we are going on to the winner's match. Pretty brutal first two series. Um, I'd say both players, uh, both of the losers getting outclassed pretty hard. Shiny's certainly getting outclassed by Sock. Zergman showing some really nice play in game number one, and then here in game number two, I don't know what just happened. He just kind of forgot how to play well and just really did not capitalize on his early game advantage. So I'm not really sure what's up with Zerg, man. I mean, he really did, I think, play quite well in game number one. Um, so a bit disappointing here, but that's all right. He's not